Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of my latest purchase. This is the dual function pet containment uh, dog trainer as well as dog fence. And it's from the company My Pet Command. This is a company that is out of Australia, um, but their products are made in China, or at least this one is, uh, designed in Australia, made in China. I like doing these videos in case there's somebody out there who's thinking about buying the same item and they just wanted to get a feel for what does it look like when you get it in. I'll give you a glimpse of the back here, uh, just some of the items that it comes with. A transmitter box with power adapter, dual function rechargeable receiver collar with strap, rechargeable remote control trainer, 492 feet of um, polyolefin coating wire, a copper wire, uh, two boundary wire connectors, 50 flags, a user manual, and then some other accessories like the prongs, the cables, the wall charger accessories. So this company does have a website. They also have an Australia phone number and a US phone number, uh, which is really a benefit to me because I have ordered some pet products before on Amazon. And when you get them in, there's no way to contact the seller except through Amazon. So it's nice that this company has got an actual website and customer service. So let's take a look at what we've got in the box, the instruction manual. And it is all written in English. Dog whistle, the 50 flags, This is the collar itself. And you notice it's got some prongs on here. Uh, somewhere in here, they give you additional prongs in case you need longer ones, uh, depending on your dog. Now, the one thing I will mention is this company sells a couple of different pet products. This one, uh, as well as being a fence, can also be used as a dog trainer, but the collar that it comes with is suitable for up to three fourths of a mile and you wouldn't want to do any training longer than that. They also sell a long range dog collar uh, that is suitable for um, training a distance further than three fourths of a mile. So if you're interested in that, you'd want to go to the company website and consider the long range dog collar instead. This one again is good for three fourths of a mile. Anyway, there's the collar. This is a USB charging cord. You'll notice this cord has two prongs on it. It's a dual charger because it charges both the remote control for the collar and the collar itself. So you don't have to plug them in separately. You can actually plug in just this one uh, charge cord and plug them, both, uh, plug them both in at the same time. So a couple things <coughs> I'll mention about that. Um, actually, let me show you a couple more things and we'll talk about it. Here's the collar itself that you'll run through the dog collar. And then here's the wall outlet that you can use with the USB charger, or you can just plug this into a computer, whatever works best for you. So this collar, uh, and maybe I'll do a video, um, an additional video once I get everything charged up and running, but uh, this, this collar is gonna be able to be used in two different ways. as a dual function collar, if you're using it for training, or just as a wireless, uh, I'm sorry, as a fence. Yeah, wireless fence. You've got your fence set up, and then this will control the barrier of the fence. If you're using it for training purposes, you'll leave it in the dual mode and the collar itself will only last about 24 to 48 hours in training mode before you're gonna need to recharge it. So if you're not training, you're gonna wanna make sure that you use the remote to take it out of the dual mode and put it just in the fence mode because in the auto dog fence mode, the collar will last four to seven days. So four to seven days, if you're just using it with the fence, and 24 to 48 hours if you're using it in dog training mode. And again, uh, at the end of this video, I'll attach a video to walk you through how to put it in dual mode, take it out of dual mode, that kind of stuff. So you've got a boundary wire connector. You have two of those. You have a lanyard that can be used with your remote control. You have the wall outlet for your fence transmitter and you've got the fence transmitter itself. 
You've got an analog switch down here that you use to control the uh, boundary width. And if you notice in the bottom here is where you're going to run your uh, fence wire through. So you've got your resistor and you've got some additional prongs like I mentioned earlier, some longer prongs, plastic prongs. And last but not least, 492 feet of wire. And you can actually buy additional wire and you can make the border uh, go as big as um, 10 acres. But as far as what comes with this uh, package, it's 492 feet. So anyway, there's an unboxing video. I'm gonna get things charged up and I'll uh, add on a video to the end of this to show you how to use the collar and the remote control. Hope this helps, thanks. Okay, everybody, so as I mentioned before, I thought I would uh, go through and walk you through how to use the remote and how to use the collar. Um, I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but I'm just gonna give you some of the basics just so you kind of understand uh, that this is a dual function um, dog trainer and fence and you're going to want to know that uh, because you're going to want to make sure your collar is in the right setting for what you're trying to do. So I'm going to just show you real quick on the bottom of the collar there's a power button and if you press and hold it you'll notice that the collar comes on. By default the collar is set into what's called dual mode and what dual mode means is that you can use this to train your dog with the remote control and uh, it, the fence mode is on as well. So if the dog goes near the fence barrier, they'll get a shock. Um, so dual mode basically just means you're, you can, you're using it for two different things. Uh, the reason that they say that you're, you should not be in dual mode unless you're doing training is because the battery life is greatly reduced on this collar if you're in dual mode versus just fence mode. Uh, as I said earlier in the unboxing, it's 24 to 48 hours in dual mode and it's, I believe, seven to 10 days in um, fence mode. So uh, if you're not training your dog, you wanna make sure you're just in fence mode. And I'll show you how to do all that stuff. There's a power button on the remote control. If you press and hold it, the remote control comes on. By default, uh, these two are gonna be paired together when you get the, um, when you get your package in the mail. But uh, it should be noted that this um, remote can be used with multiple collars. So in the event that you've got multiple dogs that you're wanting to use this with, you can buy the fence set that I just did the unboxing of, but you can also buy additional collars that can be used with this remote control. Down here on the bottom, you're gonna see, uh, you can see by default, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that or not actually. It says A01, well I can go and hit number two. It says B01, I can hit number three, it says three o uh, C C01. Those are your different dogs. So dog one, dog two, dog three. The O1 indicates the level of shock. So I'm gonna go back to dog one because I only have one dog. And if I press the up or down button, it increases the intensity of the shock that's gonna be transmitted through these prongs on the collar. And one of the things that I should have mentioned in the unboxing, and it actually just kind of snuck by me, is they also send you this pretty cool little test light. and. Uh, what it does for you, you've got a button on here that if you press and hold it, it'll send a shock through this collar. Um, well, you can do that and shock yourself to see what the intensity is, or you can use this tool so you don't have to shock yourself to see whether or not it's transmitting a shock. And all you do is you put the prongs onto the tool, you press and hold this and see how it lit up. It's letting you know that the shock's working. So kind of neat, comes with the, uh, comes with the set, so it's a cool little tool. Anyway, um, right now, by default, as I said, the remote control is going to be in dual mode. If you look, you see that green light? Every five seconds, it'll blink green. Uh, that lets you know that it's in dual mode. If you wanna switch it to just fence mode, all you're gonna do is again on the power button, you're gonna press and hold it until you see a red light. And then as soon as you see a red light, you let go of it. And you'll notice it's still going to blink green, but it's going to be a double blink. See how it's a double blink every five seconds? That means it's just in fence mode. So you're no longer able to use the remote control to do training. But uh, if the dog goes near the barrier of the fence, the remote, uh, the collar will go off automatically and shock him to keep him within the boundary. 
uh, where you got to be kind of careful because if you, I'll switch back to dual mode, press and hold it. As soon as you see red, let go. And now we're back in dual mode. The thing I was saying to be careful about is if you press and hold it and you see the red light and you hold it too long, it'll cut off the collar completely. But anyway, it's really easy to use. The collar is extremely, I mean, the remote control is extremely light. You don't, it doesn't even feel like there's a battery in there. It's pretty amazing, uh, but it's very easy to use. The instruction manual is very clear, but I hope that helps give you an idea of how to go from dual to fence mode. If you got any questions, let me know. Thanks.